Hi guys, um, we are at Rewind Festival yes. and we thought we'd try and vlog it for you. We've just put up the tent, if yeah, you can see in the background. That's I think. Go on. I got swallowed by it, didn't I? It was so windy. Before we pegged it down, a gust of wind came and it just took off with Andrea <laughs> it in it. It came over my head and I just got and, completely and engulfed with this tent. People are all sat around, like, just chilling out, waiting for the, for the music to start. So they were all just watching us. I know, I was, we were both in hysterics, which didn't help. So, yeah, anyway, you can see the campsite. That, yeah, the campsite is That's massive. only a fraction of it. It's, and we've had to walk about half a mile. It's, it's a bit like Glastonbury, isn't it? With all the flags and just different sections. It's, it's way like bigger than the one we went village. to. Way bigger than the one we went to last time. So we're gonna hike back for the rest of our stuff now. Pick up our booze. And then make our way back. Indeed. I think we'll have some before we go in because we don't know if we can smuggle it in. We were just chatting to a couple who were explaining all the different ways of smuggling your alcohol into the festival. Yeah. So we might have to try a bit of that. Essentials, box of wine, cider, water. That's pretty much it. You alright? Yeah. Okay, we're back at the tent and Andrea is pumping away. I've already done mine, mine's in here. Right, I'll give you a quick tour. This is the bedroom. There's stuff. This is the lounge. And that's the garden. What do you make of your new house? Well, I've been in it before. It's quite cosy, quite homely. Good. It's actually a guide tent. Yeah, we borrowed it from the guides. Usually I'm in here telling them to tidy up and to stop giggling and go to sleep. Yeah, we do own a tent, but it's uh, it's seen better days, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> also, it's bigger than this one. This one works better for here. Yeah, lighter. Yeah. So the music's not for a while yet, we think. Maybe two o'clock. So we're gonna chill out, have a couple of drinks, find some food, and then, uh, yeah, go and watch some music. That's the plan. I'm knackered already. All we've done is put the tent up and moved all our gear. We've hiked with a heavy load. You bringing it in? Yeah. Right. Yep. <laughs> it's a really flattering angle, this one. The motivator's on. <laughs> We've just found a portable pub. We've never seen a portable pub. Oh, it's so cool. Alright, check this out.
lesson on how the arms go. So watch Eric here in leather, and he'll show you how we do it. Love you. Because nothing says welcome to Rewind like a man in leather. Woo! You know what I'm All right. So check this out. It is YMCA, not Yopa. All right? <laughs> That's right, that was us. No, we don't live together, but. <laughs> All right, now pay attention, because if you get it wrong, we're gonna stop and point at you already. Yeah, right there. Here we go. Lesson number one. Why? Yeah, they got that one. M, no monkeys. It's here, M. C, A, O. Your other left. All right, and the last step. A. Excellent. Now put those all together, and you've got Y M C A. Hi guys, it's now day two, it's Sunday. It is Sunday. And the music hasn't started yet today. We just thought we'd run through what we saw yesterday and what we thought. Yeah. So, go on then. Well, we started with Mr. Motivator. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't, didn't really see a watch lot of him. him. We kind of arrived as he was finishing, but that was quite amusing watching everybody jumping up. There was a few thousand people um, <laughs> following his exercise routine on stage. <laughs> then there was a Michael Jackson. Yeah. And then there was Thriller Live, which I was a bit, I'm a huge, huge Michael Jackson fan. And um, I was a bit kind of skeptical and I didn't know what, what it was gonna be like, but actually it was amazing. So if you ever get the chance to see Thriller Live, go see it because it, it was just absolutely amazing. There were four Michael Jacksons or was yeah, it five? A, well they were all having a go. <laughs> there, uh, was, there were lot, lots of different singers yeah. including one female singer which I need to google but I'm fairly sure she was from Cleopatra. If you're old enough to know who Cleopatra were. She was also on The Voice a couple of years back. And I'm not sure it was her. Oh, it I might need to be, google it, might it but I, she looked so much like her. She sounded like her. Yeah. So then but we yeah. went We went to get some lunch when Big Country came on. Neither of us were fans, yeah. but we listened to it in the background and we recognised a few. Yeah, um, it's not something that I was really into. And then we came back here and you had a snooze. We came back here for a snooze, <laughs> a cider-induced snooze whilst the uh, Sugar Hill Gang Sugar were on. Sugar Hill Gang were on. Not our thing at all. Not our thing. <laughs> we know one song, don't we? <laughs> we could hear that in the distance. Yep. But the rest of it, I mean, it was just a lot of noise, and then really. We... <laughs> Exactly. Uh, we could still hear it from the tent, to be honest, and they were keeping me awake. Yeah, they were really loud. We went back in for Level 42, who yeah. were really quite enjoyable. Yeah, we've seen them before. They headlined at Reload a couple of years back, yeah. and they were really good then. And it was a shorter set, this one, but they were fantastic. Really got the crowd going. Yeah, they were good. Um, really good show, actually, as well as yeah. the music. And then Doctor and the Medics, which... <laughs> I think I got some footage. I'm not sure what yeah. footage of any of this I've got. I mean, seriously, he has been flogging that song for the last 30 years. It wasn't even his song. <laughs> yeah. Norman Greenbaum, Spirit in the Sky, is not. They are. Everyone thinks Doctor and the Medics did it yeah. because he's flogged it to death. Yeah. But they were fun to watch, and I they think were. I got some footage. They so. were dressed up, and it was a spectacle. But they were on for just... 10 minutes. Yeah, they did two songs. They did Billy Idol's Rebel Yell and. And that one. Spirit in the Sky. Spirit in the Sky. So yeah, and then we uh, had... And then Musical Youth, who we've renamed Musical Middle Age. <laughs> but there was only really one, well there was two guys. There was two of the original members, one on keyboard and one singing. If you're our age you'll remember them being on Blue Peter, like a yeah. bunch of like five or six little kids. Past the Duchy on the left hand side. And they side. did Past the Duchy <laughs> and got the crowd to sing it. Yeah, they did two other songs which were reggae songs and they were good. It's always good to have a bit of reggae in the sun. Yeah. And then we came out again to get some food yeah. and to chill out. Um, so we so missed Imagination and Tom Robinson. Yeah. And um, we came back and we saw Nick Haywood, who was really, really good. Yep. Um, 
and the Nick Kershaw was amazing. We got this right in fantastic. down to the front for Nick Kershaw. There should be some footage of that. I was a, I was quite a fan of his. Uh, the riddle, I think, is a genius song. Yeah, so I mean, he, he was. He did all the big hits, and he was, he was the highlight so for me. Yeah. He was the highlight so yeah. far. And then I thoroughly enjoyed the Village People and Gloria Gaynor way more than I should. I don't know have why done. they put them on the bill <laughs> as a pair. No, because the Village People were on first, and then she was on. So they didn't sing together. I was wondering how that was going to work. The Village People <laughs> were were hilarious. They were just bonkers. They were brilliant. They, they did in the Navy so and good. YMCA and yeah, all of that. It just got the crowd going, didn't they? they yeah. Were just fantastic. And then Gloria Gaynor, who wasn't really my sort of thing. No, but I, my God, I was so into it. I was loving it. I was loving life. She. <laughs> so then. I, I swear I'm I'm a gay man trapped in a woman's body. <laughs> What does that make me? <laughs> anyway, so today, um, like I said, the music hasn't started yet. We're going to go and get some lunch. And then today, yep. we're particularly looking forward to Belinda Carlisle. Yeah, I really want to see Belinda Carlisle. Uh, Kim um, Wilde. The Christians are on first. Christians, really I'm looking to forward them. to. I was really into their first album, which was uh, 87. That was a great album. So yeah. they're probably what I'm looking forward to most, actually. Yeah, and then we've got. Go West, Major, Kim Wilde, and status quo, unfortunately, without Rick Parfit. I don't know how that works. Yeah, anymore, Rick Parfit really, but... passed away last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Or was it this year? I don't know. I might... Last year. It was, yeah, it was just before Christmas. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah. And then we were going to camp tonight, but we've decided we're going to head home late tonight yeah. because we've got a busy day tomorrow getting ready to go away to Tenerife. <laughs> it's <just> crazy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll um, try and film a few bits uh, of the music for you. Um, yeah. Yep. And we'll do a round up at the end, I guess. And let you know what the others were like. We're just sat in the back of the Mini, we're well, not in the back of the Mini, on the back of the Mini, you know what I mean. And um, we've just popped back to the car to have a chill out and have a cider. We've packed the tent up, everything's in the back of the Mini as you can see. You might be able to hear in the background, Junior Marvin? Yeah, and the Whalers. We're trying to work out, well we won't be able to work it out because we don't know if he's related to Bob Marley. We I don't. doubt it. Or if but, the Whalers are the original Whalers. I doubt that as well. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, we're, yeah. we're sitting this one out and we're going to go back in shortly. We've just watched The South, who we thought were like the beautiful South without um, Paul Heaton and Jackie Abbott, but they weren't. They were a, co they were a cover band, but they were a fantastic They were really good. Band. I they did get a few little good. clips, so I'll stick them in. But yeah, just chilling, having a cider, and then we're going back in later to see all sorts of people. Oh, Bill into Carlisle. Can't wait.
<laughs> and go. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, it's now oh, like a couple of weeks later. Yeah, ages later. Yeah. Since all the stuff you just saw, we've been on holiday and come back. And we thought it's about time we wrapped up this video so we can actually yeah. upload it. We didn't get a chance to um, wrap it up because it was chucking it down with rain on the Sunday night, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And yeah, we decided to go home, take the tent down while it was dry, get home before it's, you know. Yeah, I think that's in the video. I think we talked about that. Yeah. So anyway. But it's we... been two weeks, so I've forgotten. <laughs> You'll have seen, because there should be clips of most of these artists um in the video that you'll have seen already so we just thought we'd talk about them and say what we thought and who was good and who wasn't yeah so in the second half or the second day um there was what did they call it the collective thing the british electric foundation yeah there you go which was basically a, a band who were fronted by different stars from the 80s which started off it with... It wasn't really a band. They came on and did something different each individually. Yeah, but the backing band was oh, backing yeah, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was the house band. It and wasn't. It was domestic argument. It was, it was, it was different. They, they were backed by the house band. They weren't. There was that guy on the keyboards. It was basically his thing. The older guy on the keyboards. Okay. I, I thought he was but from the house band. He wasn't. Anyway, there was a band <laughs> and different artists from the 80s who like were more kind of one-hit wonder style people came on and performed one or two tracks. Well, was, well the first act, which they was... They weren't one-hit wonders. What, Rosella? Doing, well, she was. Well, that's what I'm saying. The others weren't. Kim Appleby well. has had lots of hits. Heaven 17 guys <laughs> had lots of hits. The Sex Pistols have had lots of hits. The plan wasn't for this to be a domestic <laughs> argument. We were just going to sum up what we saw. Anyway, there was a band and different artists from the, from the 80s performed. Let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> off, you, off you go. What am I saying? So, the first one was Rosella, who I'm sure was 90s. Yeah, definitely 90s. I saw her Everybody's um, supporting free. Michael Jackson in 1992. So, <laughs> yeah. it was, so it was definite, she was definitely 90s. She wasn't even from the 80s and the 80s. she wasn't very good. So that will just draw a line under that there. She did one song, which was Everybody's Free to Feel Good, which yeah. wasn't very good anyway. And then she it went... It was all right. I liked it. Really? Yes, I did. Then she went away, and then it was Owen Paul, who was yeah. a proper one-hit wonder. Pop quiz, though. Should we, I won't, we won't tell you what his... What? What his song was. So comment below to tell us... The it's song already been Owen on. Paul. It does oh, a did clip. You put it? Oh. I I I, I can't need remember. To start this again. I think there was a clip on. No, <laughs> keep it. Just keep going. I'm not filming this again. I'm pretty sure there's a clip of it because it's like the only song he did. Okay. I think he did a cover version as well. Okay. So there was him. He was like, okay. He did but his song, which was say, "You're My Favorite Waste of Time." Oh, so I'm no, pretty sure it's in there. Well, it's in the, they've already <laughs> seen it. <laughs> It's taken us years to memorise that because it always comes up in a pop quiz. What, you've memorised that song? Not the whole song, the title of it and his name. Oh, the pop quiz, who sang, yeah. It always oh. comes up in a pop quiz, the same as... You can tell this is well rehearsed, this video. <laughs> the same as Fiction Factory always comes up in a pop quiz. Oh, Fiction Factory, oh my goodness, what's that song? Yeah, you're going to be Now, that. I can never remember the name of the band. Now you said the band name. I can't remember what it is. What did they sing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, forget it. Feels Like Heaven. Feels Like Heaven. Brilliant song. One of my favourite songs from the 80s. Yeah, but we could never remember who it was. And Fiction Factory. Years yeah, to, it uh, sounds like memorize. it should be Ultravox or yeah. something like that, but it's not. Anyway, we totally digressed. So it was Owen Paul. He was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, get on with it, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then he did... Don't You Forget About Me, he which did. got the crowd going. There's a clip of that, definitely. I filmed the crowd going, na, 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 na. Yeah. Na, 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 I was really na, going na, for it, because it's one of my favourite songs. Yeah, so that was good. Um, got the crowd going, anyway. Yeah. And then Kim, Kim Appleby came on, yeah. who you'll know from... Um, 
Mel and Kim. Mel and Kim. We have had a glass of wine, by the way. Only one. Yeah. Because um, it's my birthday today. And unfortunately, <laughs> yes, it is. It's Andrew's birthday today. So we did have wine and beer earlier as well, you see. If that was hours ago. We've played a whole two rounds of mini golf since then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> These people are not believing us. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Appleby, you'll remember from Mel and Kim, yeah. but unfortunately she lost her sister to cancer. Mm. And then she did have quite a, a successful solo career as well. Yeah. But she did Respectable. Yeah, they all did their own song and then they did a cover. Rosalo only did her own song. She did, but everybody else did their own song and a cover. She was the only one that did one song. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did she? Yeah, she did, didn't she? <laughs> um, so she was good. Tim Appleby did um, Tears on the Dance Floor. Don't, I, I don't remember. I can't. I don't know if that's the title of the song. Why, why Mac and Why Mac? Yes, she did. Yeah, that does ring a bell. Okay, so yeah, she was good. And then, quite randomly, Glenn Matlock from the Sex Pistols came on. Yeah. Did a couple of tracks, which were pretty good, yeah, actually. He did, really he did Pretty Vacant. It was really good. Was it Pretty Vacant it he did? It was Pretty Vacant. And then he did another cover of something, and I can't of remember. Of something, I can't remember what that was either. Was, it a, was it a Clash track? Did he do a Clash? Mm, I don't know. Don't know. Um, and then, and this was all with the same backing band. They just yeah. changed the front person. And then, probably best of the bunch was another Glenn, Glenn Gregory from Heaven Seventeen, their lead singer. Yeah. So of course he did Temptation. Yeah, and which brought was out fabulous. the backing singer. And this is why I thought it was the house band because she did the backing for quite a lot of the groups that were on. Yes. And quite a lot of the singers. Um, <laughs> And she was fantastic. She did the whole she refrain bit so there. Da, 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 da. Yeah. She was doing the high she pitch bit. She was brilliant. Bits. Yeah. And he, he was good. And they did Temptation and then they did some other stuff. Yeah. He did a cover as well, but I can't remember, I can't what, it remember was. what it was. Um, but and that then was it. They, every year when they do this British Electric Foundation thing, um, they then do a tribute to someone who's died in the last year. Oh, yeah. And they did um, Freedom 90 by George Michael. Yeah, and they, they got all of the artists back on yeah. to sing. And that was very moving. There was also a guy who did a random punk track. Who was that? I didn't get a clip of him, so I didn't write him down. Oh, I don't know. Like a comedy track. You remember? Gangly oh, guy. yeah, yeah. Who the hell was that? Oh, oh. Is he not written down? Time. I didn't know. He's not on the thing. Is oh, that... I don't know. He might be. Let me have a look. <laughs> Bear with. <laughs> he might be on the there, thing. There, there, here, maybe. Jilted John. Jilted John. Yeah. Who did that comedy track, which is like a story. Oh, let us know in the comments, because I'm not going to remember. No. Yeah, he was oh, good. Oh, what is that song? It was really funny. Ni was it something about Nigel? No, that's a different song. <laughs> oh, my God. This isn't really going <laughs> to plan. It was two weeks ago. Um, anyway, so yeah. that, was, that was the end of that. It was quite entertaining, but wasn't great overall. But then Go West came on, which was yeah. really good, really got the crowd going. There's, there were some clips of them in there. I wasn't a big fan back in the day. You quite liked them. I really you? like Go West. Yeah. yeah I really do. Um, and then Belinda Carlisle, which half the crowd were there to see, I think, including yeah, you. including me. And she did really well. I was really pleased. Yeah. She didn't say goodbye, though. She just walked off. It was really odd, wasn't it? Did she? We were like, oh, bye then. <laughs> she just... Yeah. She just kind of walked off and that was it. We were expecting her to I come must, on and I do must like admit, a... I don't remember the end. That's because it was so uneventful. Yeah. But she did most of her big hits... Um, and it was it was good singing. Yeah, she was stuff. only on for half an hour though, which was a real disappointment. Yep. After that was Midge, Midge your Midge, <laughs> Midge, Midge. his friends. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> uh, Midge your, of course, made famous or started off in Ultravox, yep. and he did some of his solo stuff, which was really good actually. Mm. He's a fantastic yeah, really, really guitarist, good. and you kind of don't expect that because you think they're a synth band, but. Oh my God, was he good on guitar. Really good. And then he did Vienna, which was just epic. He did Dancing yeah. with Tears in My Eyes. 
he was one of the highlights of the weekend for me. Yeah, yeah, he was really, really good. Really good. And then really the, good. that night, it didn't finish with, but the last act we really saw was Kim Wilde. Yeah. And what did you think to Kim? Yeah, I thought she was really, really good. Um, yeah. She yeah. Was, she did really well. She was very funny because she got caught up with... Oh, yeah, she had a coming <laughs> together with... Guitarist. The guitarist and she got her clothing caught yeah. up with his like tuna little things on his guitar and she came she seemed really nervous though didn't she she we was super nervous she when she spoke when she was singing you couldn't tell but when she spoke to the crowd which was surprising because she's done that before she's done really yeah, she's not she's been done... in the public eye a lot though i guess it's once she's a done year like or something sort of festivals and stuff but yeah. yeah but that was good and pop fact i used to deliver her dad, who's Marty Wilde, who was huge in the 60s, huge pop star in the 60s, yeah. I used to deliver his newspaper and he used yeah. to give, give really good tips. I used to get like a tenner off him. Anyway. Yeah, well, and my then... granddad was good friends with him. And um, I went to her house, or to his house, when she was a teenager and I was younger. Oh, that would have been the house I delivered to then, almost yeah. certainly. Yeah. Yeah, also we served her in, well I didn't serve her, but the person next to me served her in um, Virgin. Virgin. Yeah. And we worked in Virgin. And it was really funny because I was watching her and then I said to John, did you know who that was? He was like, no. Who was that then? I was like, Kim Wilde. He had absolutely no idea. <laughs> it was serving her. <laughs> I was completely starstruck serving somebody else. Yeah. And then um, the end finale act was status quo. Yeah. But we wanted to, we decided to come, come home and we wanted yeah. to beat the rush. Plus it was tipping it down at this point. It was point. throwing it down. You were very wet and very grumpy. I was by that point. Yeah. And I just, I really wanted to just watch the beginning so I could just say, I've seen status quo. But yeah, so we watched the first song and then we, we squelched off. <laughs> I, was, I was soaked and then we drove home. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was good. And um, we, we met a guy called, um, who did we meet? What was his name? Stephen. Steve, yeah. Steve. Um, I don't think we managed to get any footage of him. No, no. There was a photo that he put on the tap chat. That's right, yeah. And we had quite a chat and quite a laugh with Steve, which was fun. And yeah, overall it was a fun weekend. It was a really fun weekend, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely like to go again. So... We can recommend Rewind. There's several Rewinds, isn't there? There's Rewind North and South. Yeah. East there's, and West. There's, well, there's three, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we were at the one in the South. We were at Rewind South. Which, which was Henley. Was Henley. Very posh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we better wrap this up because yeah. that, that's like nearly 15 minutes just on this wrap up. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that. enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, give me strength. Oh dear. It's um, been a long day. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll leave it here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you made it this far, you crazy people. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Yeah.